Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just got a picture in my mind of a lap pool. And in a lap pool, the reason they call it that is they have a mechanism that sits in front of you, maybe by five or six feet. And you've got feet behind you, many feet behind you. It's usually long and narrow. And you get in this pool and you start swimming forward but the mechanism once you turn the switch on starts moving the water against you it gives you resistance so as you swim it's like being on a treadmill you're walking you're putting out effort you're covering miles worth of energy but you're getting nowhere you're still in the same spot so you're basically swimming, 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 all that energy. You might even be losing weight, but you're not moving forward. You're just swimming in place. Same with walking. You're walking on the treadmill. You're running on the treadmill. You're running, you're running, but you're running in place. <clears throat> Now, I don't know which is worse, running in place or moonwalking. Okay? Going backwards, thinking you're going forward. Now, many of us do that. We moonwalk through life and we live in place. We're not living forward, we're living in place. We're stuck in one place, in a time warp, in an imagination a dream, a desire, the past, whatever, but we're stuck. And we're not moving forward. You got to get out of those shoes. Leave the shoes stuck where they are. Get you a new pair of shoes so you can be free to move forward in your life. That old stuff, you need to ask God to help you cut that crap loose. You're either hooked on it emotionally mentally, whatever the case may be, you won't let go. And that thing is tied to you like an umbilical cord. And while you're walking, it's it's got a string attached to you and it's tied to something and you're locked in place and you can't go forward. You just, you know, like a record. Broken record. Keep Coming back to that same point. I love, I love, I love. And then they want to say, I love you, baby. No, I love, I love. I, it's stuck because there's a scratch, there's a cut, there's a groove, there's a problem in here. And you won't let, you won't take the scissors to cut that thing off so you can move forward. Because you kind of like being stuck. You've become, I've grown accustomed to your face. You've grown accustomed to being stuck in that place. And it's unhealthy. You don't get that it's unhealthy. Because your life and your years will be wasted saying, I love, I love, I love, I love. And all that that's lived in between there. Is so limited. It can't pro progress. You can't grow. You can't go. You can't be free. Because you're stuck. In that rear view mirror. You're stuck in that old relationship. You still talk about the relationship. That took place 10, 15 years ago. And you talk about it in detail. Because you still live there. You're stuck. That's why Jesus came. One of the reasons. Jesus came to set us free. He overcame the world. He will set the captives free. He will heal the broken and the bruised. He heals the wounded in heart. The broken in heart. 
you go to God and ask him to help you get unstuck. And I pray to God that you do in the name of Jesus. I pray that God makes you sick and tired of being stuck. Going nowhere fast. You be running. But you're, and you're not going anywhere. You're walking fast, but you're moonwalking. And you end up back where you started. Because you can't cut that thing loose that's in your past. What she did to you. What he did to you. How they played you. And you're bitter. You're sorry. You're depressed. You're full of self-pity. You're letting that thing eat up your light. It's consuming you. Ask God to help you let it go. Sometimes this is the way we hold on to things. And God literally, ha you have to ask God to do this sometimes. To literally pry your fingers off of the relationship. Pry it and knock the thing out of your life if need be. You got to start asking God to take control because you've lost it. 